Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are looking at budget pre-con upgrades and the top new removal. So I did something a little different this time. I went to the Facebook Budget Magic group and uh, asked them what they thought. So yeah, I got some suggestions from there. I think I got some really solid ones too. A couple I definitely did not think of. So yeah, it's a, an interesting list. When I say budget, I mean $2 less and I'm using the TCG market value, not a sponsor, not even recommended really. Um, apparently their shipping cost is crazy, so you're better off going with uh, Card Kingdom. But anyway, I've been doing TCG player this whole time and I've got over 200 videos, so switching now wouldn't really make sense. But yeah, again, if you want to like get in on some of these uh, suggestions and stuff like that, the Budget Magic Group on Facebook is a great place to look, check out. Yeah. Pre-con upgrades. All right, having solid removal is an important part of every deck. Really, removal is one of those like it's like mana card draw your first two things, and then removal comes with like removal board wipe and things like that are just like fundamental pieces you need in every deck. Um, yeah. Often you can get some of the best removal at budget price uh, from recent sets before the prices start to climb. That's a big thing. Getting the recent ones, a lot of times it's like before people really figure out how good it is, you can like, get it at a decent price. There's definitely a couple on this list where I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be like a $5 card soon. Here are some options that are already starting to rise in price, so get them now. Yeah, a lot of these are climbing already, so I would Number five, break the door down. Two and a green for an instant. Okay, this seems not good uh, from the casting cost. I think a lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, that's not great. Three is a lot, but let's see what we get here. Exile, exile, target artifact, exile, target enchantment. So artifact and enchantment are always the first two things I want for removal because like you can't take them on combat. Um, yeah. Finally, Manifest Dread. So you would look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them onto the battlefield face down as a 2-2 creature, and the other into your graveyard. Turn it face up any uh, anytime for its mana cost if it's a creature card. So again, if you can control what's on top of your deck, if you got Brainstorm, if you got like whatever effect, you maybe just, you can scry a lot. Um, as long as you can keep a, a creature in the top two cards, you can get a creature down and then flip it over anytime. Even during someone else's turn, you can flip it over. Um, so basically it lets you like flash in any creature. You do have to get to the top of your deck and you do have to like play it first as a 2-2 and then flip it over. So there's the extra like three mana cost here, but this can be used to set up all kinds of crazy combos. Um, this is so, so useful. And the, the contributor, Henry Siminski, um, thank you, Henry Siminski, for recommending this card. What he pointed out is like, if you need a blocker, just out of the blue, you need a blocker, this will do that as well. So it's removal and it's also defense and it's potentially like cheating a creature into play that maybe you would have to like wait until the next turn to be able to like, Cheating it right right at the end of someone else's turn is so great because it's like not summoning sick right away again. So if you cast it, flip it over, as soon as it's your turn, it's not summoning sick. It's good to go. So yeah, you can kind of do a lot with that. There's a impressive amount of flexibility. Anyway, 14 cents. Number four, wear down. <clears throat> so this is my pick right here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, this is uh, two CMC only. So you gift a card. You may promise an opponent uh, a, a card. Basically, you let your opponent draw a card. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My wife got me sick again. Ah, oh, oh no. Anyway, um, so yeah. Remember, they do get to draw the card before the other effects take place. Which is super weird to me. Apparently, that means they could draw a counter spell and use the counter spell to counter the spell you're casting that let them draw the, the, the like magic the gathering you don't need to be more convoluted but anyway 
Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Again, for two, not bad. If the gift was promised instead, destroy two artifacts and or enchantments. Two removal for two mana. It's downside sorcery speed. A lot of people in the budget magic group were like, yeah, I wish it wasn't sorcery speed. You know, if it wasn't sorcery speed, this would be amazing. And I agree. That is a downside right there. But it's removing two problems for two mana. And frankly, the gift mechanic, I like being able to like give a card to whoever's like kind of fallen behind or even to curry favor a bit. You can do this politically. I think the gift is just a great mechanic in general. So anyway, 21 cents. Number three, Parting Gust. Okay, for two white, this is an instant. You can tap, uh, or sorry, gift a tap fish. Um, not tap a fish, you could gift a tap fish. <laughs> anyway, XL target non-token non creature. Okay, non-token creature. By default, if the gift wasn't promised, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. If the gift is promised, then it's gone. It doesn't come back. So by default, this is a flicker that puts a plus one, plus one on it. If you want to use it on your own, and if you want to use it on someone else's creature, you can give them a fish and just make their commander disappear, which is hilarious. It's like, take a fish, lose a commander. Um, I, I don't think that's the expression, but anyway. Thank you, Blake Andrew, for that one. Number two. Untimely Malfunction. Okay, this is one in a red for an instant. This one is already over the $2 mark on the Korean websites which are usually ahead of price values back home. So I think this one is going up, going well up. Anyway, okay, so choose one, a modal spell, destroy target artifact, artifact destroy. Great first step. Change target of spell or ability with a single target. Spell or ability. And yeah, not really a counter spell, but like reassigning it, which can be even better than a counter spell, I think. Um, so yeah, so it's usually like target removal. Even if it's an ability, you can just change it. Um, it doesn't even have to target you or anything you control. You can just decide, no, I'd rather this other problem be taken care of. Um, just co-opt everyone else's stuff. It's great. Uh, one or two target creatures can't block this turn. That's probably not going to be the most useful one until it is, and then it lets you win the game. So just an incredible one. 148. Thank you, Brad Watson, for that one. Number one. Stroke of Midnight for two and a white. This is another instant. Um, destroy target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. So you're destroying anything except for land and just giving them a 1-1 one, one white human. Um, oh, wow. Uh, first of all, thank you, Adam Genesis, for this one, which is the most biblical name I've ever heard in my life, but I'm sure he's heard that more than enough. All right, so I guess it's a Facebook name, so maybe it's not a real name, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm not teasing as what of my point. Uh, yeah, just this is the, also, I think, the oldest one on the list, but yeah, it is just incredible, right? The most flexible possible, 3 CMC, maybe you prefer 2, but so flexible, run it anyway. Alright, 93 cents. The list. Okay, break the door down is 14 cents. Do not underestimate how flexible that is. Wear down, 21 cents. 2 for 1, uh, yeah, 2 for, uh, or 2 CMC on one card, really good. Uh, Parting Gust, 99 cents. Again, it's actually cheaper on the Korean site, which is very unusual. But yeah, you can exile things to give them a fish. It's hilarious. Untimely Malfunction. Love a modal removal spell, especially like that's almost a counter spell, 143. Stroke of Midnight. Flexibility. 93 cents. All right, take it easy.